Raz, and welcome to yet another episode of AH3T. Should I help you out on your Arcana Heart needs? Well, right now we've hit up Yuriko, and today we're going to hit up Lilica. Yes, I'm a little behind on the power curve. Uh, work's been eating me, but enough about that. <clears throat> Anyways, let's talk a little bit about Lilica, okay? Lilica is your fast-paced air-to-air -air specialist. What I mean air-to-air -air is when you're fighting her in the air, <clears throat> if your air game is not supreme, a minor mistake can cost you half a life bar because her special, one of her specials, uh, one of her supers are in the air and a lot of her chains can start in the air or be finished in the air, depending on how nasty the combo is. <clears throat> but... Another time for the videos. Right now, we're going to go right into the Arcana because that's what people like to hear for. Let's begin with love. <clears throat> Despite what I would love to say about love, it's good for Lilica if you're trying to keep a person's ground game in check while developing the air game. So, in all honest opinion, it's a good zoning tool. Most intermediates can use it as a zoning tool, but most pros will get the best use out of it because... The full the full screen laser <clears throat> can, get, can keep spammers from getting out of hand. And the tracking can keep people from trying to fly over your head and shit along those lines. So it's a good tool for intermediates. Time. Another use where time doesn't really work well. <clears throat> On Lilica, you want to keep moving. But if you stop to do time, even with a super... They get frozen in space, sure. They get frozen for a few seconds. <clears throat> what the hell does that do for Lilica? In truth. Plant. Or nature in this case. <sighs> nature is good if and only if you have a decent juggle game under your belt with Lilica. Now, developing a juggle game with Lilica is not hard. But for most, pro for most pros, they have good awareness. So if you strike someone going down, you can catch them on the way back when they're about to hit the floor. Uh-uh, no. Pull a scorpion on them and just work the magic. Great for pro-level jugglers, honestly. Suchi, or Earth. I keep loving that name, Suchi. Loving the Japanese name of Suchi. <clears throat> oh, sorry, weird fact. This is another one where, despite it being a strong defensive set, Lilica's quite the exact opposite, so I don't even need to say much about that. Lightning. <clears throat> now, this is a good tool to keep anyone in the air. This is an anti-air tool. If you want to enhance your air-to-air metagame, this is the one you want to use. Lightning is one of the better ones, mainly because <clears throat> all you have to do is up, find a spot to point, boom, lightning goes. There really is nothing else to say about it. It's really a good arcana. <clears throat> Excuse me. Poison. Now, against popular belief, if you can have a decent ground game to extend, you can extend into an air game using poison and really rack in some decent damage. Not to mention the positioning tool, if you use the super, will come in handy if you want to just keep a person whose air game is not superb back in the air and you just continue what you're doing. It's a little bit of a pro tool, I will agree. But, for the most part, it's a really decent way to work. Light. <sighs> Despite what I love about light, it's only good to keep people away from being so damn close. It doesn't take good care of zoners unless you like tr the tracking tool. Though the knockback tool does get a little bit fun from time to time. But, again, light, <clears throat> only if you are not confident in your Lilica's air game, is what I would recommend light. So, eh. Blossom. Eh, the plant and go method here works out well. Mainly because you can extend, or you can just flat out go into force, go into extension without going into a combo extend, and just plant and go. It's really a good option here. It's really one of the better options for Lilica. Especially while people's too worried about the air game, they're not concerned about what's on the floor. <clears throat> it happens. Sound. <clears throat> this is one of the things where it's a toss-up. Beginners, I don't recommend using sound because it takes so much setup work. And again, I tell you, the setup work is going to be big here. 
if you decide to go with the route of intermediates, you can set up like <clears throat> set up a set of three go into a sound blast and let the vibrations do its work and then continue in the air combo. I've hit oh I wanna say with a decent combo with sound, I've mind fucked the person into taking about half the bar. <clears throat> and when I show you my uh, replays later on in life, I'll show you those. So it's a good intermediate and pro tool if you can get a good way to work it. Metal, aka the or calcos. Honestly, a waste of time. Mainly because you gain so much meter from being on the offensive, you really don't have time to be just sitting there charging your super. No. More, more defensive players, or even in the case of Konoha being one of the very few exceptions, can really get a good use of using the Orokako's charging. <clears throat> Lilica. Well, wind in this case. Wind, though it works good for an air-to-air -air tool and a good way to keep the combo extension going, I would actually say that in this case, you have to know your air game in order for you to use wind right. It's not that great, but you can never go wrong with getting it right. Darkness gear. <clears throat> this is one of the times I would say, if you can get them in the air from a normal ch with a normal attack coming from gear, go for it. It's a it's a tricky tr it's a tricky tool, but if you want them to be stuck to the floor, that's on you. It's it's good stuff. It's good stuff if you can pull it off. I would recommend it for pros only. But, <clears throat> hey, you never know. Um, yeah, magnetism. This is one of the few times I'm going to say, though magnetism is good, I will call, use it more as a distraction. And I see that as a distraction because if you hit them into a combo off the wall and then hit them into the magnetism, they could be too busy to being worried about the follow-up attack after at least one magnetism that you'll get the space you need. <clears throat> you'll get the space you need and we can get back on the attack if they want to be funny. Now, it can also be backfired if you're not careful. Water. Uh, a, the super, which involves you to get to be up close and get the grab on them, is good to keep people who love the chain. <clears throat> Heart, Saki, Konoha, um, Dorothy, Weiss. The list goes on. It keeps chainers in check. It's a good tool to keep chainers in check if you can keep one bar on you. Otherwise, I wouldn't recommend it for any other purpose. Fire. Yet another good use of fire. <clears throat> Lilica, being as fast as she is, from the extent she can pull off major damage from the fire. And honestly, with an increased attack from the extent, you really can't go wrong with that. It's one of the best ones out there. Mirror. There's two applications I would definitely use Mirror for. In Lilica's case, it will keep people honest from trying to f shoot love all the damn time. Like, ah, 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 stop that shit. If, you, if anyone wants to shoot out of fire, reflect. You just become a urine for Arcana Heart if you use Lilica. Except you don't have to worry about the charging attacks from urine. <laughs> Not bashing, he's actually pretty good. The second tool is that if you got a person who decides... Oh, we pick Ray Fay. Oh, we pick Heart. The knockback tool is a great thing because it knocks them straight into a wall and you can continue on your ass kicking ways. Ice. Lilka's already on the move. I think Ice would be a dis would detract from it mainly because you're moving faster than what you would do on the ice, to be quite honest. Though it's a good knockback tool and it does give some good combo potential if you can manage to finish strong in the air, it really is again a distraction. Not really the best way to work around. Luck. <laughs> you know my deal with luck. Extra damage is never a bad thing, but in this case with Lilica, you have to be a little bit more cautious on how much damage you can get. <clears throat> if you can manage to snag them in the air, and then continue on to the air-to-air -air matchup, this would be a great opportunity because it just adds for so much hell, honestly. This has the room for, this has a recipe of destruction written all over it, but 
again, don't take my word for it. Just take a looky. Sin. <sighs> my thing with sin is this. Even if you can link it up correctly, you have to already be extended to pull it off. And honestly, I think it's a waste of extent, honestly. It's just a waste of extent for sin. And it, the only thing, other thing I would say is it's a good anti-air tool to keep people honest. Just to be honest. Just to be thorough about it. <clears throat> punishment. Now, punishment here actually can be used very nice because of the uh, bounce, because of the bounce effect it gives if you pull off the super. It bounces them right back up in the air. And if you're already, if you hit the super in the air, yeah, these guys are not going to be very appreciative of the matter. So I would definitely say take advantage of the super, and it also offers a very good ground projectile game if you wish to use it as such. It's not a bad choice, honestly. Holy. Ugh. Though the knockback tool is really good, again, <clears throat> it, it, I think it's more used as a zoning tool if you wish to use it to keep people in check from having to do so much hell. It's a good anti-Dorothy tactic because Dorothy likes to set traps, and as a mate, I made her in Arcana. I know well aware of the traps. This will keep her while it keeps her disrupted on setups while you have a little bit of time to think what the hell you want to do next. That's basically what I think of Holy. Huh, <sighs> Fedra. Uh... It has good anti air potential, but all in all, I think it's still a poor execution, a, a bit of a waste, in my opinion. <clears throat> Though the cannon might not always be a bad option, just trying to set up after the cannon is a bit of a bitch. So, no. Then lastly, we got Tier. Ooh, my Tier. Great knockback potential here, and you can track them as you knock on the back. It can dump as a projectile, and in this case, the force field actually works pretty well. As long as you don't move so much with Lilica, I think, honestly, honestly, you can really do a lot of damage with tier. So I would say tier is a good option here if you're looking to do just insane amount of damage. <clears throat> Quick recap. For all those waiting, we have uh, Lizzie next. Lil Z. Lil Z. Or was it? These a lot. Uh, damn it. Some of these European names escape me. I, I apologize. I'm going to call her Lizzie. So we got Lizzie next, okay? Peace.